when I was a kid, I was very musical uh, from the time I was like five. But as far as like painting and drawing and stuff, that didn't really come till about what six years ago, I believe, and it just kind of took off from there. I typically do uh, larger canvases, like the ones in here, are probably the smallest ones that we have. Um, but we have a lot of them that are like six feet by five feet and things of that nature. Uh, we do a lot of acrylics on canvas. I use uh, a lot of different elements, a lot of different mediums. Um, I mean, I've used everything from fire <laughs> to what are some other weird things I've used? Fire? Over? Yeah, I've actually, uh, I, all right, one night that uh, my girlfriend Jessica got very mad at me for, I was painting and I was like, I wonder what it would look like if it was on fire. So I put some uh, isopropyl alcohol on it and lit it and I got a really cool effect. And then I got yelled at for that? a day or two. I think we sold that one. It's a lot of experimentation and a lot of stuff to keep my mind occupied. I got out in 04 and was having a very difficult time adjusting back to being here. So I, uh, one day, my son, I was a single dad at the time. My son saw a painting and was like, Dad, I love that. We got to make that or we got to buy that. But the, that particular painting was 60 something thousand dollars. So that wasn't an option. So for Christmas that year, I wound up buying him a canvas and we never really did anything with it. And then I was having a real bad day one day, and, you know, a lot of dealing with a lot of anger and stuff like that. And instead of uh, trying to isolate myself and running away, I actually got pissed off enough that I went down into the basement and started painting on it. And it came out great. And my son, my son still has that painting. It's up on, on his wall by his bed. And he won't let anybody buy it. So. And from there, I realized that the painting was the one thing that I found that allowed me to be able to sit with myself and do something uh, without going stir crazy or just going crazy in general. So that's how it all started. So I kept doing it. And now we have hundreds of paintings, I would say and people started to like them. So we actually have paintings all over the place. Just sent one to Seattle to a friend of mine, April, not that long ago. But we have them down south, Canada. We we're pretty lucky so far. I mean, one regret that I had was I, it took me way too long. I suffered, uh, like I was fighting everything when I first got back. And uh, I mean, I, I went probably five years of fighting everything until I tried different things. I mean, I, I did. I was going through therapy, and I, I, I was diagnosed with PTSD in 2004 uh, when I got out, um, and I didn't know what to do. And I got out, and I tried the working thing, but I wasn't, um, I guess I wasn't responding appropriately to uh, uh, everyday issues or everyday problems, and I don't know, I was, I was very, I was battling everything. And uh, I tried, I was going through therapy, I uh, tried other hobbies. It was suggested to me that I find a hobby, something to keep me busy, something to uh, that's non-self-destructive. It was trial and error. Like I tried, I tried a bunch of things that uh, just really pissed me off. I tried, uh, let's see, the the little Japanese bonsai trees. I tried that. That didn't work. I threw one of them through a window. I I did a uh, candle making. I tried that. That was a horrible mess. That was very frustrating. Um, and the the painting when I that day I, I was having a real you know, I had relationship issues, issues. I had, uh, you know, parenting issues, and I couldn't sit by myself for a second, like literally not one second. I had to do something. I was self-medicating. Everything was negative. I got angry enough that I just picked up the paintbrush, and I, it just came out. I didn't really know what I was going to do. I guess I had a little bit of an idea, but it was, like, really interesting that the painting kind of just took over that the painting was becoming something and I was just kind of helping it along. That's how I felt, which made me feel really good. And it was a positive outlet. You know, it didn't involve drugs or alcohol or fighting or, or you know, getting arrested or <laughs> there was none of that. It was positive and I was home and I was doing something constructive with, you know, with my loved ones. And um, I stuck with it because of that, because there was no negativity with it whatsoever. And I really enjoyed it. And to this day, I mean, uh, last night I was I was out here in this studio for probably 10 hours working on paintings and I wasn't, I didn't have to run away from my family or my loved ones or disappear for days on end and just to avoid and isolate. That's made a tremendous positive impact on all of our lives, especially mine.